This is my dream car. I probably spent a little too much money on it, gotten in way more trouble than I thought I would. Push it. Put it in sport mode so it sounds good. Come on, man. 485 horsepower to the wheel. Stage two tune. And the best part, well, it's rear wheel drive. That's better. That's way better. God, that was fire. When I first moved to Atlanta, I didn't have a car here. I didn't have credit here. And I was like, man, that's the most unfortunate of circumstances. But if I am gonna do it, I'll go three years used German vehicle with a very good aftermarket and the M4 fit the bill. Man, I got the car. First thing I did was mod it. Step number one, oh, you click this button here twice. Step number two, you click this button here twice. And step number three, you click this button here once and you are fully sport plus out, but not after it. You press this button here twice and you're in track mode. <laughs> yeah, damn. When you see this bar pop up on your holographic screen, fellas, you're about to have a lot of fun. I've made this car inconveniently very annoying to drive. This air suspension is pretty stiff. The car in the back is raised a little bit, so it's, it's almost angled downwards. And it's definitely my lightest car. Oh it's a blast. And, and you know what the best part about what we got going on today is, Willian? The tires is already bald, brother. I'm gonna be honest, this car has so many issues. There's drivetrain issues, cruise control issues, fun issues, because I'm having too much of it. It sounds exhilarating. Downpipes has changed on this bad boy, man. Carbon fiber all around, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. So it's light. My first time doing something like this, so I was kind of taking the advice of different garages who's like, who was incentivized to finesse me. But I did it, man. I, I wide bodied the car. I put an air suspension on that chat and just carbon fiber everywhere you look. And I tuned it, all things that you can't really reverse with the vehicle. Once you cut the fenders to put a wide body on, it's done, dog. That's what the car is gonna look like forever. So I basically had to like stomach that I'm never gonna sell this vehicle. Or maybe I could, but not for as much as I could have had I not made those changes. Everything about this car is fun. It's small things, bro. It makes a big difference. Check this out. Let's say you pull up to the spot, right? You wanna play some music. Let's turn that up a little bit. You wanna turn the car off now, right? You pop out the car, it's still playing. Copyright free sh it's still playing. You could pump gas water. Copyright free tunes is playing for you and everything, man. And the only time it stops is when you lock the car. I wish every manufacturer did that. The smallest detail, a lot of fucking fun, dog. I grew up watching Fast and Furious. The first game I ever played was Need for Speed 3. I grew up just imagining and dreaming that I can build this exact type of vehicle. So to be able to do it and like, wow, man, dream car, for real. I grew up watching Fast and Furious. One of my favorite movies of all time is Tokyo Drift. I played Need for Speed all the way growing up. Need for Speed 3, Underground, Underground 2, Midnight Club, Double Edition. I was on all of that. So knowing that, you could imagine why like I would make all those changes to the vehicles because I grew up doing that in video games. Yo, no cap, I got track mode on. Y'all wanna see some track shit for real? Gotcha. Every temptation is like, agent, make a bad decision, do it. What's gonna happen, agent? What's gonna happen? I'm in court next week. It's like, stop, man, it's so tempting. I'm in court again. Cut up, agent, why not go have fun and cut up and run it in? Take traction control off it. I'm in court. I don't feel safe in this car. I'm in court. You can no, need to open no. a window. Not now, not with this metal bar. Not with this metal bar. There's too many bars. Stop. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Let me pass this line. Damn! Oh sh! Court. What? Oh. Court. <laughs> Bro, you scared the soul out of me. I thought court was here. I bought the car for 50K, three years used, and I spent another 50 on just mods to make it my own. I'm done because I realized that there's no money you can spend on a vehicle that's enough. You can keep spending, and it's like a deep money pit, but I have what I want, and I'm not gonna spend any more because it's, it's just no satisfaction in that. The temptation to not make an awful decision when I'm driving this car is challenging to tame. Oh my God, everything about the car wants to like skip out and have you like, it's like a lion that you need to tame. And if you don't, you'll spin out and potentially get in an accident. But when you do it correctly, man, the feeling is exhilarating. I don't fuck around with this car on the road no more ever. Anytime I wanna have fun, I just take it to the track, which is what I wanna do. And I'm telling you, it's a challenge, man. Hey, anyone thinks they could take me, let's pull up to the track. We can do it, bro. Let's pull up to the track and have a race, dog. The M4 is just like the definition of fun, dog. When I'm in there, I'm smiling. I'm playing my music loud. I got my windows down. I'm enjoying life, man. It's the car I kind of go into zen and like just 
sometimes I'll go in there and breathe. I'll hold like important phone calls in there, man, because the cabin is just speaking to me. This is my vehicle. I made it my own. Bro, we did have to go home though, because the second you do it one time, is on the phone with the police immediately. So, <laughs> so let's do you turn the head back. <laughs> yeah, no, he turned, but it was like a cool turn. <laughs> Can you guys do something about it? <laughs> And now you gotta skedaddle. Oh. That was safe. There was no, there was no one there. And I'm in Mexico. I'm doing it safely in Mexico, and I'm a professional. This is the car that reminds me, like, hey, agent, you can make good decisions from time to time. Something practical. You can't around too much in i might have tuned it stage two it has 415 horsepower to the wheel and it's all-wheel drive a lot of space a good dad car come on get out of here now go away oh my god the burbles putting the air suspension in the m4 made it a little bit too uncomfortable i wanted a car that was more practical i can fit a lot of things in there and the audi kind of fit the bill i went to the dealership with no intention on buying i drove in it and it felt like i was literally riding on a cloud dog i've never been in a more comfortable ride and that audi cockpit just makes you feel like you're really driving a like a boeing 747 not a audi sq5 What? Oh no, I'm not doing this. We just passed the cop in 4K. Are you swear? I swear to God. I swear to God. Okay. 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 Talk to me, Willie. Okay. Let me just do a quick move just, just in case. case. Okay. Let's watch the speed bump, Willie. Really. Let's watch the speed bump. We're not bump. in M4 no more, though. Let's gun it again one more time, Willie. Okay. Oh my God, it sounds so good. Now you wildin'. Now you wildin'. Now you wildin'. Nah, nah, nah. Now you wildin'. Ah! That sounds so good. <laughs> Uh, we'll chill here for about two minutes. It's just good scenery, so. So what are you up to? You know, sometimes I just hide out recreationally, just practice. Hide out? Oh, what would you be hiding from? And on top of that, I just came from the garage a couple weeks ago where I did a stage two tune. We removed the downpipes, removed the cats, and did a tune to the, to the electronics of the vehicle. So it's pushing 100 more horsepower than it is stock, so it's pushing 415. So not only is it fast, but now it gurkles and pops, and the exhaust sounds exhilarating. It's very practical because you can stuff as many things as you need to in the back, so when I have a whole bunch of equipment I need to move, that's the car I go to. But on top of that, just the materials within the interior Interior is just straight luxury, man. It feels really, really good. And even the use of plastic, you don't even notice that it's there. It feels like a premium build, and just like my M4, I got it three years used for half the price. When I'm going on road trips, or I have to pack my car full of equipment, or there's five people that's gonna be riding with me, that's the car that I choose. It's also the one that's best on gas, so it's the one I drive probably like 75% of the time. You're in the hot dad car, right? What? Let's see if we can pick up some hot moms with the whip. You know what I'm saying? You want to get in my truck? <laughs> no, no, no. Not like that? <laughs> okay, my bad. Would you consider this a hot dad car? Yeah? Like if I tried to pick you up in this, you'd be like, yeah, I'll get in. Is that a yes? Yeah! <laughs> get in! Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nah, you, you wildin'. I have to learn Riz. I got to go to Riz Academy and things of that nature. Power, fun, and I guess I can hold things from time to time too. About 702 horsepower, who the f knows amount of torque, and a goddamn Hellcat engine. Well, I just kind of got the Ram truck. Y'all seen the videos, man. I've been driving it nonstop since I purchased it. It has a lot of space, but it drives like a pickup. Like a good pickup, but a pickup though. It's not as sporty as the M4, is not as smooth as the Audi, but it is fun. Hey, so Davis is my assistant for the day. Davis, you would help me with anything. Anything. I just need to test out the suspension on the bed of the vehicle. If you if you don't mind just hopping in for me. Yo, so yo, them neighbors trying to complain that we're unruly whole time bro they complain we're going fast in the community and all type of shit. but it's like y'all going fast in the community i'm going under the speed limit AJ. 
Did you, did you slide? Okay, I'm not. Don't be afraid. Oh, oh, no, Stop it! 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 Stop and on top of that, I bought a whole bunch of mods. There's a company that sells a whole bunch of carbon fiber parts for the Ram truck, and I ordered a bunch of them. I even ordered a brand new bumper and a carbon fiber hood. It's, it's gonna look spectacular. I have a fucking incredible idea. And in a few months when those parts arrive and I put them on the car, y'all gonna be floored with what you see. Put it right here. It's a mirror. Wait, what? It's a camera. Wait. It's a mirror. It's a camera. Don't go to the How you doing, neighbor? <laughs> oh, my. Oh my! Oh my God! Okay, okay, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. The suspension works great. It works great. Yeah, yeah. Give me a review, David. It's a ten. It is a ten. Oh my God! Never again. I should say, Davis, you're one of the greatest assistants I've ever had. Every car I have, I have to like make it my own. I gotta do something special with it. Same applies here to the Hellcat truck. I will absolutely be adding my touches to it, but I won't do too much. I don't wanna like, you know, spoil the integrity of the vehicle. It's a good looking car on its own. Hey, hey, you're making too much noise there, bucko. Oh, that's literally what she about to tell you. Look, 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 look. Please stop, please stop, stop. But yeah, man, those, those are my three cars. You might be wondering where the Range Rover is. I sold the Range Rover to AMP. It's like AMP's company car now. And my AMG has been driven back up to Toronto. And, and when I go back there in a couple months, I'm gonna sell it. So I'm technically down to three cars now. I know it sounds like I have like 45 million of them because I keep making videos of the newest car I bought. It's been like two this year. I'm not trying to make awful decisions, you know what I'm saying? The only reason I even got the Hellcat truck was because my accountant told me to get a truck over 6,000 pounds. I was like, I can't think of a better truck to get than this one. Look, 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 okay. All right, so there's a big center console. You open the center console up, right? Let's take this out, leap, peek inside, peek inside. That's a T-Rex shitting on a fucking Raptor. Wait, what? The big ass T-Rex shitting on the Ford Raptor. I swear, that's a Raptor down there. Nah, they're violating. Yeah. But what's this? This, this is just geometry. Because some people use this as like a workbench. But hey, man, so that's the list of cars, man. I am challenging anyone watching this, man. If you want to take me up on a race, I know a track. Let's make it happen. If y'all want to see videos of me flooring these vehicles, I'm actually kind of curious which one is the fastest. Drop a like. Let's try and get it to 15,000. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.